Soreness is not a good determinant of whether a workout was super successful or not. I just finished an incredible, incredible body weight only workout. And if you don't already know this, I'm a huge proponent of body weight exercises, especially at first as we're trying to learn form and as we're trying to learn how to actually activate our deep inner musculature. So actually, like some of the sorest I've ever been while working out has been by doing body weight only workouts. But I want to preface that by saying soreness is not a good determinant of whether a workout was super successful or not. Muscle soreness happens when our body is adapting to new stimuli. So usually beginners get super sore or people who haven't worked out in a while or a muscle group that you haven't worked out in a while, that is usually gonna be super sore. So why am I bragging about having super sore muscles from doing body weight only then if soreness isn't a good way to determine whether a workout was successful or not? Basically, the reason why that workout I got super sore is because it revealed to me how much I'm not using those deep inner muscles. And if I'm not activating and using the muscles that I need to use in a certain lift, then why would I be lifting weights? If that makes sense, right? If I'm not activating or using those muscles that I need to use or that I should be using in that lift, then I probably shouldn't be lifting heavy. I should probably stick to doing that movement body weight only first before adding weights. So let's go ahead and break it down how we can start to effectively activate those deep inner muscle, those deep inner muscles while using body weight and then eventually maybe transitioning to adding weights. <laughs> so I want to take you guys through a deadlift, which traditionally you wouldn't think you can do a deadlift without using any weights. That's, that's an exercise that we just automatically think we need to be using weights for a deadlift. So I'll take you through a deadlift to see how we can actually have a really, really effective workout using body weight only. And this can apply to literally any exercise we do and we can do body weight only for it, see how that goes and eventually progress to weights and eventually progress to heavier weights if that is what feels right. So let's do it. Proprioception is one of the best tools we can use. Physically touch around the areas that you're supposed to be activating to help connect that mind muscle connection. Another tool is using the mirror for visual feedback. So when we see ourselves activating those muscles, when we feel as though we're flexing them, when we see it visually being flexed in the mirror, it can be a helpful tool for activating it. We can also imagine ourselves lifting 700 pounds or any weight that feels really heavy to us. This will create this internal tension just by imagining ourselves having to pick up a weight that heavy, which will cause us to activate all the muscles involved in the lift. We can then add weight knowing that we're activating all the muscles needed for this lift. Me and Mushroom hope that that was helpful. Was that helpful? Oh, oh! If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, ow, please subscribe, like, comment, and let me and Mushroom know 
<laughs> what you want to see in the future. Right, Shroomaloom? Mushroom says subscribe ASAP.